Well, easy, boy, easy. It it's just Stewie in a kitty costume. I'm a calico, and my name is Humphrey. He got his face painted at a birthday party. It was the only thing this little guy could do. He was too light for the caterpillar slide, too short for the piñata, and too scared to touch the animals in the petting zoo. The pony was magnificent. The pony was magnificent. Well, what do we have here? Hey, back off! That's my goodie bag. Ugh, an eraser. Raisins in an unsealed sandwich bag. Oh, a parachute guy. Well, he's already tangled. This day started off so great. It was a wash in cake and pony boners. Now all I have is this dumb whistle. Doesn't even work. Ah, what the hell? Oh, it's a dog whistle. Ah! No, it's mine now. In fact, I'm gonna put it where you can never reach it. No! Good luck, shrimp. I can't believe the nerve of that dog. Teaching me a lesson about size? I'm not even that small. Tiny Tom Cruise? Oh, hey, little guy. Forgot my sunglasses. Hey, what's with your gay character names lately? Stacy Jacks? Jack Reacher? I mean, who are you playing next? Oh, right. Try to make this sound gay. Next up, I play Headmaster Bates' man. Anything else? Actually, yes. After that, I'll be taking the role of Major Dixon Butts, then Senator Rod Clutcher. Well, we'll just see who's the bigger man. Brian, sorry I got testy. Let's bury the hatchet. If you're free, I'd love to hear about any new writing projects you're working on. At least wait for me to send it. Hey, Stewie, I got your text. What am I working on? <laughs> what am I not working on? Well, first off, I got this screenplay for Tom Cruise about the Queen's private secretary, Sir Gaylord Hummer. Well, actually, he might do that. But, Brian, I'm more interested in short stories. <laughs> Hello there, little guy. What the hell did you do to me, Stewie? Well, Brian, you seem to enjoy belittling me, so I decided to belittle you. I've simply shrunken down your molecular structure. It was easy, really. Like taking candy or a whistle from a baby. You dick! Undo this! This is perfect! I think my excitement is best expressed by Jean-Claude Van Damme in this scene. All right, you've made your point. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I couldn't hear that. It's too high-pitched. You're what? I'm sorry. For what? For calling you a shrimp. And? What do you mean, and? Come on, you know what I want. And all four chairs would totally turn for you on the voice. Anything else? And the way you salute and point is very casual and free of affectation. Hey, thanks, Bri. I'll go switch you back. Stewie! You know, I'm really flattered you think all four voice chairs would turn around. My dream order would be Adam, Blake, Alicia Keys, and then Kelly Clarkson, whose chair I imagine would turn last. She's a... Uh, she's a bigger gal. Help! Ryan? Hang in there, buddy. Hurry up! I'll shrink myself down and come get you. But in the meantime, they say if you put your finger in a rat's butt, that disables it. It didn't work! Now he's just angry! Try wetting your finger first. <laughs> Come on, guy. Hey, you don't want to do this. All right, let's get back to the machine. Look at all this shag carpet. This is like our Vietnam movie. I miss Jenny. What is that? That's Forrest, Forrest Gump. Yeah, I, I, I don't think so. Shh. What is that? It ain't a box of chocolates. Vacuum cleaner! Ah! Oh my god, this is disgusting! How am I supposed to get down? That was the only baggie. Use either the tampon strings or the discarded dental floss and rappel down. Two days of mail at once, nobody knows. Don't go over two, don't get greedy. All right, I figure if we can just... What's going on? 
An eclipse? Ah! Oh, oh my god! god! Oh, oh my god! god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Ah! Snot rockets! Oh my god, it's so disgusting! Get it off! Get it off! Are you guys eating that? Uh, what? Are you eating this pile of boogers? We'll just climb the lattice on the front of the house. When did we get that? Well, every 80s movie had one, so the fat man thought we should have one, too. Wow. Okay, great. Ferris Bueller's Day Off? I don't think so. But the lattice thing sounded right when you said it. I, I feel like 80s movies were wall-to-wall -wall lattices. Sixteen Candles? No, no. I mean, she was being ignored most of the movie. Who'd be climbing into a window? Yeah, good point. Risky business? No, hookers don't climb. Oh, I know, Home Alone. Home Alone must have had a lattice. All right, Brian, at this size, this is a two-man job. While I adjust the settings, you go over there and hit the tiny button to fire it up. Wait a minute. This doesn't feel right. What button did you hit? That one. The tiny button. I hit the button that says tiny. You said hit the tiny button. Exactly! I didn't say hit the big button that says tiny. I said hit the tiny button. The one you pressed is going to shrink us down to microscopic size. Well, why would you make the tiny button big? I had to make it big enough to write tiny on it. It's beautiful. Ah, I just wish my hot girlfriend were here to see it. Oh, yeah? Yeah, you have a girlfriend? What's her name? Girly Friendston. Girly Friendston? Nice try, Stewie. Hi, I'm the exterminator. An exterminator? So you used to be a terminator? No, I kill rats and bugs. And Sarah Connor? No, Peter, we have a rat. My stuff's in my truck. I'll be back. <gasps> you see that, Lois? There's more terminators around than you think there are. What's that sound? Oh my god, look! <laughs> Holy crap, what the hell were those things? Dust mites. One of the most dominant species of the micro world. Why did they just attack like that? Because they're jerks. Yeah! Sorry, didn't mean to scare your little buddies. My name's Vernon. I'm a water bear. A water bear? What's a water bear? They're predominantly water-dwelling, eight-legged, segmented micro-animals. You can call me tardy, but I'm always on time. Ha <laughs> Yeah. Well, here she is. Home sweet home. Everybody, we've got guests. Yeah, we need water, bad. And I'm the gay one, but I'm not, like, doing the gay voice. Listen, Stewie and I come from a place where water flows like, well, water. That's right, and we need to get back there. And if you guys help us, we'll make sure you never want for water again. All right! Yeah! Patrick Stewart! Well, what'd you find? I'll be honest. I think this is a conversation best had over dinner. Oh. Sir, I asked you what you found out about the house. What? Oh, you're gonna have to tent the house. All right, thanks for your work. You're very professional. Yeah, that's me. Professional. Always professional. And alone. We're here, Brian. That's your laptop. If we get inside, I can remotely hack into the shrink ray. Oh, no! Water Bear Consuela, can you stop them? No, no. I only clean Wednesday. Can't you just clean today? No, no. Wednesday. Here's the microboard. I just need to reroute the circuits.
Stewie, you're a genius! Run! Thank you, Tiny Tom Cruise. How can we ever repay you? Well, you could make a sizable donation to the Church of Spaceship Beep Boop. You mean the Church of... Yeah, kidnapping, torture, extortion, that's the one. And we won't get in trouble because we didn't use the actual name. <laughs> May Chris come to the light. May, no, don't do it. Don't go to Prince. Come to the purple light, May. Come taste infinity. Don't listen to him, Meg. But he's so talented, and he's got so many drugs. Alan Thick is here, too. Hey, guys, come on in. It's a hoot. No! Google my crystal light aerobics competition. It's ridiculous. Well, let's take a look. Let's deliver on our promise. A little water for our little friends. Oh, hell no! Sweet country music! Oh, my gay god. No! Oh, they're dead. Now I'm sad. Cheer me up, Jean-Claude Van Damme. 